Hello, my name is Denzel and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to teach you how to animate a fish using just two modifiers and two keyframes. Let's just first take a look at the fish that I modeled and textured. If we just tab into edit mode. So as you can see, the fish is made up of separate pieces. So we have the body and the different types of fins that the fish has. Okay, so now that you basically know how this fish was modeled, let me just take you through how to animate it. Now I did mention that there are two modifiers that you're going to want to use. So let's head over to the modifier panel and add the first one. And the first one is the curves modifier. Now you'll see the curves modifier shows up as red. And the reason being is because there isn't a curve for it to associate with. So what we need to do is press shift A to add a curve, go down to curves and circle. We will go into edit mode while the circle is selected, press S to scale it up and then go back to object mode, select our fish and click on object and select our curve. Uh, we can actually rename this curve to fish path and now when we take our fish and move it along the X axis it will follow this curve. So what we'll do is we'll go to frame one on our timeline, press I, click on location, go to our last frame on our timeline and just move this fish forward a bit, or in this case technically backwards, it's going in the negative, and then press I and location. So that'll animate around. Another thing you'll notice with this animation is it slows inwards and speeds up and then it slows down so we don't want that so what we want to do is just open up our graph editor with our fish selected press a to select all our points go to key handle type vector now there's no more slow in and slow out okay so we can make this a little bit more interesting by selecting our curve pressing tab and just messing with it a bit in edit mode. So now our fish will swim nicely along this path. Okay, I think we can make things even more interesting. So let's just go back into edit mode, select all the points by pressing A, uh, click on curves, segments, subdivide. So now we've got more segments to play with. And I think we'll go to our top view and just move it Outwards like this because fish wiggle their bodies left and right pretty much and I think that'll do a nice job at simulating that wiggle and then we can go to our normal view and move it up and down in different ways just create a nice chaotic uneven path go back into object mode and press play I think that's quite a cool swimming pattern for this guy. It looks fairly realistic, kind of. But we can take things a little bit further because the tail and the fins, the tail and the rest of the fins, aren't really behaving dynamically. So the way we can do that is by using the other modifier that I mentioned, which is cloth. You just go to the physics panel right at the end here, click on cloth, and we just press play up oh, and it all falls down ah wonder why that is now the reason that happens is because we need to tell blender which part of the fish is cloth and which part of the fish is not now the body is the part that we want to be not cloth we just select the body by hovering over the body and then clicking l we then go into the body and we just select the parts of the fins that are inside of the body or otherwise the fins will just fall off now that we've selected all the parts that we want to be not cloth we go over to the data, <clears throat> the object data panel, 
and under vertex groups we click on the plus sign we rename this um, fish body and we click assign we then go back to our physics panel we scroll down until we see uh, there we go shape and under pin group we select fish body uh, we can increase the stiffness to 50 we then go back into object mode now the fins move in a more dynamic and interesting way but as you can see the fins pass through the body and they pass through each other so what you want to do is just click on self collision so now the cloth will collide with itself we'll decrease the distance a bit we'll also scroll up a little and increase the quality a little bit as well and what you might notice is if we press play now it doesn't look any different and that's because blender can be a little bit buggy so we're gonna have to bake the animation so we go to the cache and we click bake this will take a few moments there we go the tails don't pass through each other anymore another thing we can do is just turn down the gravity or turn it off because everything's a little bit more floaty in um, in water so it'll make it look a little bit more realistic you can also increase the collision quality to five okay and let's bake it again there we go, I think that looks freaking awesome. Okay, so it's free bake. Another thing that I like to do is go add modifier, subdivision surface, and we put it above the cloth. We can increase the, the view detail as well. We'll always have to rebake the cloth whenever we add another modifier or do anything like that. The subdivision surface will give more detail to the cloth objects so the bends and the folds will look a little bit more realistic and a little bit more interesting but what i'd also suggest doing is just going through all of these cloth settings and playing around and seeing what works for you what doesn't work what makes your pc crash and just play see how things work out for you let's just increase maybe the viscosity over here and bake now what you'll notice is with the subdivision surface on it takes a lot longer to bake and as you can see over here it's counting the frames. All right, so while we wait, why not subscribe to my channel? And also consider donating to my Patreon or sending through some Bitcoin. And I just wanna say thank you to those who have been sending through Bitcoin and Ethereum. It doesn't go unnoticed. I just regret not knowing who's sending what, but for those, whoever you might be, um, I really appreciate it. Your support does not go unnoticed. And on average, it's been about $5 worth of Bitcoin, and that just blows my mind. So thank you so much. Okay, so now that this has finished simulating, let me just show you how it animates, and there we have it. We've got this beautiful swimming fish. By the way, if you wanna be able to download this project, all you have to do is become a patron and you'll gain access to it. So thanks for tuning in. But don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you next time. This is pretty freaky.